Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite core tackle products, and that is the Ozark rig. That's right, this guy right here. And some of you may be looking at this going, you got a red one. That's right, I got a red one. We uh, did a special run of these for the Bassmaster Classic. So if you happen to be at the Bassmaster Classic and you want to pick up Oz, uh, red Ozarks, Hover Rig, or Tush, I highly recommend swinging by the Core Tackle booth. But what I wanted to do today was talk to you a little bit about the Ozark Rig, show you how to rig it, because I've had several people reach out to me asking me how to rig it, and then give you some of my favorite baits on it, because that might actually surprise you. The more I use this thing, the more I find that I'm liking a lot of baits that I didn't think I would actually like on it originally. So let's just talk to you a little bit about the Ozark rig. Again, this was pretty much uh, made up so that we could get the same sort of motion out of the hover rig, a gliding, spiraling movement, but give us full-blown weedlessness of a Texas rig. And that's what we've got here. So to show you just one what it looks like rigged, in this case, this is on a Berkeley Powerbait Pit Boss, one of my favorite pitching baits. Works extremely well on the Ozark rig. Uh, and you can see, really what you want is the bait to be sitting on the hook shank itself. So when you've got it rigged up properly, basically what you get is a, a straight ramp from the slanted weight from the bait. Gives you an extremely weedless presentation and it allows the bait to glide because we've got the weight transferred down the hook shank. Really basic concept. Impar uh, it just imparts a ton of additional movement into your bait. So if you like fishing Texas rigs, you might want to try the Ozark rig because instead of a straight vertical fall, what you actually end up doing is getting a bait that falls more horizontal. And then when you pick up on the bait, the bait tends to want to scoot versus just coming straight vertical again. Gives it a much more natural lifelike presentation. And I've been catching a ton of fish on this and I know a lot of other people are. We really haven't done a ton of promotion of it. Uh, because they've been, you know, we've, we've only been able to keep up with the demand based on the limited supply that we've had. And it's just been one of those things where we, we've we almost had to pull back some of the marketing on it uh, because it's selling that well already because people are having that much good luck on it. Now, having said that, I do also want to point out we started with a 4 out 3 ounce and a 4 out 8 ounce. We've got additional sizes coming out. We've got a 5 out quarter ounce, a 5 out 3 8 ounce a 2 out 8 ounce and a 3 out 3 16 ounce. So those are going to be coming out uh, hopefully middle of March, end of March, somewhere around the Bassmaster Classic uh, to just kind of satisfy some of the demands that consumers have wanted. They really like the 4 out size, some wanted smaller, some wanted bigger. So we've created some additional sizes. Uh, so from a bait perspective, when I originally started using this, I, I wanted something to work well with my flipping baits. So a Pit Boss is one of my favorites. The Maxent Creature Hog is one of my favorites. These baits work really well because they've got wide bodies. They tend to glide very well through the water column. They generate a ton of bites. But I gotta tell you, they're not my only favorite baits. In fact, Johnny Schultz of Fish the Moment is the one that turned me on to how good fishing some of your basic worm presentations is. Like one of his favorites is a Yamamoto cut tail worm. Works amazingly well. So does the Maxent, the Magnum hit worm by Berkeley. This is crazy good on it. And then your traditional soft stick bait. So if you happen to like maybe a Yamamoto Cinco, or you like a Berkeley General, or a Yum Dinger, whatever your soft stick bait is, it works very, very well on the Ozark. And the key with these longer worms is what we're finding when you rig them up is the bait actually, when it glides, it gets really good belly roll. The bait will actually wobble through the water. It's a pretty cool thing, very much unintended, but very, very happy that it does it. And because of that, we're getting great, uh, we're getting uh, great fish catching ability out of that bait with some of the straight tail worms. Uh, we're just having a lot of really good luck. So I'm going to rig one up for you. So this is the cut tail worm. Now there's 
really two ways to do it. You, you rig it just like you would a traditional Texas rig bait. Uh, but I got a couple of ways. One, you can absolutely go right through the nose and then thread it up over. Now I gotta tell you, I actually prefer to go in the side. You go, I don't know, a quarter inch back through the side so you can see I'm not necessarily through the nose. And then at that point, you just slide it up over the hook shank and the hook eye. So at that point, it's the bait itself is resting on the hook eye. And really what that does is it locks your bait right into place. And then when you put pressure on your line, the bait gets pinned between the bait and your line. And then you can just go ahead and fully Texas rig it. Just skin hook it just like that. And you've got the Ozark rig rigged. Now, the cool thing, again, with these worms is when this thing goes through the water column, it just wobbles back and forth, generates strikes from that standpoint, gives the, the fish a totally different look at your traditional worms. So, I mean, if you want to use it, you can use it with speed worms. And I have not found a bait yet that really does not have motion when you're talking about your longer baits. If you're talking about your traditional craws and creature cell baits, you get a lot of that really good gliding motion. Just a great uh, presentation for kind of an old take on a Texas rig. Now I will add one of the other things that's amazing about this is how many of the fish end up getting hooked in the top of the mouth. Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that we've got the ramp here. So when that comes through the fish's mouth, it just shoots the bait up to the top of the mouth. But I'm telling you, 90% of the fish that you catch will be through the hard part of the mouth, which is where you never lose the fish. So that's where you want to hook them from. They have a really hard time shaking your bait when you're through that hard part of the mouth. And that's what the Ozark rig does. So if you haven't tried the Ozark rig yet, or you have it and are not sure what baits to use on it, straight tail worms, it doesn't have to be straight tail. If you want to throw like an old, uh, a Berkeley power worm, that's great on it, your speed worm, but your worms, uh, the longer the worm, the better it seems like it works better. And then a lot of your traditional flipping baits, your creature style baits, your cross style baits, your beaver style baits will work great on it as well. Anyways, I'm going to finish rigging this one up for my next event. And uh, if you haven't tried the Ozark rig, I think you might want to try it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions regarding the Ozark rig or Core Tackle products, put it up in the comment section. I'd love to answer them for you. But if you're going to be at the Bassmaster Classic and you want to get some of the red Ozarks, Hover Rig, or Tush, you should probably try to swing by a little bit sooner than later because we only have a small number of them, uh, but we'll have them at our booth at the Bassmaster Classic. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support, and stay tuned. We'll have a new video tomorrow for you.